Hey, this is Lee. I want to do a quick video about being humble. And this is a word that today is not used very often. We don't hear it. It's just, I don't know why, but it's just not popular. But it should be a popular word. And this is it. Humble. H-U-M-B-L-E. Humble, meaning gentle, kind, uh, not uh, self-promoting. So let's look at what does what does that mean so let's draw, pull this over here look for the definition having or showing a modest or low estimate of one's own importance yeah humble meaning that you look it says meek respectful submissive uh, <laughs> yeah look at this i'm sitting here looking at this and i'm a little set back these are the definitions of what humble is. Are you humble? Let's look and see what Jesus said about humble or humility. Being humble. So let's get right to it. In uh, Matthew 18, 1, he said, the same, At the same time came the disciples unto Jesus, saying, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? Seriously? I mean, do they really need to ask that? What they're asking is, Who's the greatest person or child of God in the kingdom of heaven? Are they thinking that they're the greatest? Are they wondering which of them are, are wonderful? Isn't that the wrong way to think? You're, you're not supposed to wonder who's the greatest. That's pride and vanity and it's just so wrong. In 18.2, and Jesus called a little child and set him unto him and set him in the midst of them and said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, except you be converted, born again, changed from the old man, old woman, and become as a little ch as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. Ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven, unless you have the heart of a child, forgiveness, love, gentleness, a purity about you, humble. Children most of the time are humble. There's a few that ain't, but most of them they are. And whosoever therefore shall humble himself as this little child, the same is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. So if you want to be great in heaven, you have to be as humble as a child, gentle, loving. Yeah, not self-promoting, not having to live by pats on the back, just okay with being a child. Yeah. And whosoever shall receive one such little child in my name receiveth me, but whosoever shall offend one of these little ones, which believeth in me, it were better for him that a millstone were hanged about his neck, and that he were drowned in the depths of the sea this is a hard st statement right here jesus is, is really laying it down so what's a millstone this is a millstone it's the thing that they turn in a circle to grind down olives or they put grapes in there and it mashes them and the juice comes out this could literally weigh several tons it's that big and that heavy so jesus is saying if you offend the little ones it's better for this. It would you're going to get this. And you would be better to have this tied around your neck. I mean, that is a big statement. So quite literally, this will be tied around your neck, and you'd be better off to be drowned in the depths of the sea than to hurt the little babies in Christ, the ones that believe on Him. And you're seeing this more and more. People are lying. The pastors, preachers, uh, teachers. Christians are lying to people. They're using them. They're they're mistreating them. And I've done several videos, and I keep coming back to this point because I feel like this is what the Lord is wanting me to teach about. We must be as a little child to enter the kingdom of heaven. We cannot be offending the little ones. We can't be hurting the little ones. We have to stop, teach the love of Christ, what Jesus did, how God so loved the world that he gave us his only begotten son. And what did we do with him when he gave us him? We crucified him. Those people back in that time crucified him. It wasn't the stranger that did it. It was his own people, the chosen people of God. And yet today we're still doing the same thing. We're using people for money. We're using people to, to brag on us. And, and here's the thing. If you ha don't have the heart of a little child, you will heap to people around you that's going to pat you on the back and say, Good job, buddy. You're doing great, buddy. That's not what he's talking about. To be a little child is just to be pure in heart, to be gentle, kind, and loving. You don't care about any of the other stuff. 
You just want to please God and you just want to love people. Humble, H-U-M-B-L-E. Humble, are you being humble? Are you living humble? Take this word, write it on the back of your hand. Put it on your phone as a screensaver. Put it on your computer. Hang a a post-it note on your desk. Put it in your locker. Whatever that you go to every day, hang it on the corner of your television. Are you being humble? Are you being a, a innocent child of God? Because he set one child, he put him in the midst and stood this child right here and said, you have to be this to go to heaven. Are you going to heaven? Are you being a child? Or are you offending the little ones and the ones that believe? For those of us that love Jesus innocently and want to serve him with all of our hearts, are you offending us? Then you need to stop. Are you, are you being boastful or proud? Are you being this? Is this going to, should this be tied around your neck and thrown in the deepest part of the sea? No, I don't think anybody wants to. So let's be humble. Let's go back to the beginning and stop offending little people, the little ones and the big ones and everybody in between. Let's love and be humble and let's make it home to heaven. That's my video today. I love you with all my heart. One thing about a child is they're not anything except what they are they're genuine they're true they're humble take a little one i bet you have a grandchild or a child and you see how gentle and innocent they are and do you want to offend them do you want to be one of them because that's what we have to be to go to heaven i love you with all my heart be blessed in jesus name remember i love you no matter who you are in the world i love you as a little child the way Jesus would have me to. So love one another. Be blessed in Jesus' name. Bye.